good beautiful afternoon everyone we are coming to you from the national wildlife refuge the key deer national wildlife refuge we're gonna take a little stroll here at the blue hole you guys know what to do grab yourselves a tasty treat and remember your choice to keep your hands arms feet and legs inside this vlog at all times forgive teddy i just woke him up because i knew he'd want to see this I have seen this place on Facebook a lot and I'm excited to finally be here. Please don't feed us. Yes, let them stay wild. The alligators or the key deer. So just a short little walk down here, the blue hole. Oh, you wanna go? I can't read the sign first. He's a little grumpy. He just woke up from a nap. All right. Let's go, huh? Nice paved little path. What's this way? The gaps. Oh, look. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so good, good observation. You always hear us talking about poison wood in a lot of our videos. The here is a nice interp sign showing you this is poison wood. Don't touch it. You could be very, very sorry. Like it's worse than poison ivy or poison oak ever thought of being. It's not fun. The rash is hideous. Teddy and I have both had experiences with poison wood. Not fun, huh, Bob? No. All right. So I don't think this is very like long or drawn out. Oh, look, a Keys Thatch Palm. Really good interp signage here. So I'm not sure if there's actually like a swimming hole here or what. We're just kind of learning as we go because Teddy didn't let me read the sign first. Wow, Teddy, you can go in many different directions. Look at this. Oh, look. Here's a nice sign for the National Key Deer Refuge. We're not going to stop and read all the signs. Yeah, forgive him. Like I said, he was taking a deep nap. So <laughs> look at look at how many National Wildlife Refuges we have in Florida, honey. And just like I have a National Parks Passport book, I actually have a refuge book. And I don't have the book on me today anyway. And I don't know where you would get your stamp because they kind of actually discontinued those books quite a while ago. But as you can see, we do have quite a few here in the state of Florida that you could enjoy. Great wildlife viewing, great birding. This one's... Did I just hear a gator bark at us, Teddy? Anyway, there is a visitor center, but I never see it open. But here's a little layout of the refuge here. You could look for key deer. Look for the marsh rabbit, tree snails, osprey, alligator. And here's a good little uh, thing of the refuge system across the U.S. It's an observation platform reminding you keep wildlife wild. No swimming, no fishing. Nice little bench though. Teddy's going to show you. Sit down and enjoy a break. Oh, stretch out, yeah. Oh my, Teddy, that is quite the picture, sweetie. I'm going to come out and take a little peek. Look, Teddy, there's a little uh, binocular thing you can look through. Wow, see, the trail even goes like way over there too, Teddy, honey. Yeah, you're going to step up, see if you can see something. Just don't step on your glasses. Want me to hold them? Okay, honey. Mm -hmm. Look at you, Teddy. You're so tall now to look through them. Do you see anything? Poison wood, poison wood, poison wood. Poison wood. You're going to step down, sweetie? You got it? Everything is crazy. All poison wood. Poison wood. This is when you feel like you're on the jungle cruise, Teddy. Can you name some of your favorite plants? 
this one and that one and that one and that one. <laughs> I am so I am so thankful to Daddy Teddy that he he turned around and brought me back here. He's so sweet. A little windy, nice breezy, huh? And not all the trees are poison wood, sweetie, but look at all these nice little places where you can stop and look out at the blue hole. Yeah, that's just a palm. Are you making an observation? It does feel smooth. It's not spiky at all. No, not spiky. Oh. Hmm. What color is it? Green, right. Oh, okay. Ooh, a nice bench. This is a nice little nature trail. Wow, this is beautiful, Teddy. Thanks for 34 years, Ranger Jim Bell. Teddy, did you know that the National Wildlife Refuges are run under the same overhead as the National Park Service? So it is part of the Department of the Interior, just like Daddy works for, for the National Park Service. You really like benches. This is your new thing to do on benches, isn't it? Just sit down and take a break. All right, I'm going to take a little look here, too. Sea grapes. Beautiful, Teddy, isn't it? It's so nice of Daddy to stop for us. Teddy, I want you to make an observation on this rock over here to our right. What kind of things do you see in that rock? Look at the edges down here. Run your hand like all along that. So then you get up here and you're at a sanctuary area and the area is closed. So we'll have to turn around and work our way back out. But wow, this was a nice little leg stretch. I would have to highly, highly recommend coming down this side road if you're traveling down to the Keys and you want something easy, not so crowded, free of charge. Yeah, this was awesome. I think there's another little trail we're gonna do up the way too that Mark and I found on the map. Look across at the first platform we were at before. Let's stay on the trail, Teddy, and work our way back out where we came from, back by the bench and stuff. Thank you. Teddy's outfit today is very tropical. Doesn't, doesn't quite match, but that's okay. He chose it. His dinosaur shorts are some of his favorite adventure shorts right now. And then he wanted to wear his new shark Hawaiian shirt with it, so. What are you singing? Jingle bells. <laughs> really cute, honey. You're quite the adventurer. He's Crocs with his socks. <laughs> Shorts and his Hawaiian shirt. He looks like he's some kind of character I like designed to do some kind of funny hiking video with. Hey, look a rock you can stand on. Look at that. I knew you would like that. You could stand up like you're king of the mountain. You're not going to fall in the water, sweetie. 
but that's that's good thinking safely. I like that you're thinking safely. Wow, what a picture that makes though. Look at me, honey. Oh, that's adorable. Thank you. Poison wood. Poison wood. Everything is poison wood. Poison wood. Poison wood. It's our new song, huh, Teddy? <laughs> So we're, oh, Teddy, there's a key deer. Honey, come here, come here. And here we have one of the key deer. They are kind of used to humans, but please don't feed, please don't touch. What do you think, Teddy? This is a deer you will not see anywhere else in the rest of the United States, honey, or the rest of the world. Yes, it is a key deer, and this is the closest I've ever been to get pictures of one. You might dream about it. I stopped to take a uh, reel also, a couple other footage clips for a reel. And Teddy and I were just having some more conversation as we observe that, yeah, he will never, he'll see other deer around the U.S. and around the world, but this is the only place you see these key deer. And what a blessing this is today to get to observe up close but with respect I did just have some guests kind of butt in front of me and go and pet it and please don't do that cool kids follow the rules huh Teddy yeah. cool kids follow the rules mm -hmm. it's nice to give some space like even when I was doing my reel I was zoomed in on her cool kids follow the rules all right let's go tell daddy about this experience we should definitely write this in your observation journal huh had to change my settings usually when we're hiking I do film in the wider angle but I wanted to get better views of the deer so that we could give respectful space <laughs> this is another pastime of Teddy's like balance beam time but yeah this certainly paid off with good rewards huh Teddy I'm not going to close it out just yet, folks, because we might go do that other nature trail. So I'm going to hold off saying goodbye until we decide if we're doing that. Teddy's woke up now. He's decided to stop and read the sign. And we actually noticed you can go this way. So we're going to take a few steps out here. I don't think this goes far, but let's go see where it goes. I don't think there's a beach, honey. But I, I promise we might still find one on the way home. But it's good to see. Oh, it just comes down to a dead end here. The area is closed for protection. But hey, never hurts to take a little nose down and see. All right, now let's go back to the car to daddy. Just literally up the road from our last spot, we did find the other nature trails. Teddy and I are gonna go do a hike. Lucy's probably gonna hop up in the front seat. That's where we saw her when we came back. So yeah, Teddy's giggling, Mark's happy. He's, he's listening to baseball, so he's plenty entertained. No worries there. So here, more signs like uh, we were showing you at the previous walk. Key Deer Refuge. Teddy's goofing off, so I can show you. So there's two nature trails here. One is the Frederick C. Manillo Jr. Nature Trail. It only takes 10 minutes. Surface is level, graded, pretty good. Uh, habitat, habitat type goes through pine rocklands, freshwater wetlands, and little to no shade, but that's okay because today's very overcast, so no worries there. Then you have the Explore the Jack C. Watson Nature Trail. That's a little bit longer. We'll see, we'll see how we do. Do the shorter one first, Teddy, what do you think? Okay, oops, probably you want to either put your glasses on or give them to mama so you don't scratch them, huh? So this is the Frederick C. Manillo Jr. Goes out to a viewing platform. This is the gentleman here, pictured here, that the trail is named after. Cute trail. 
look, some flowers. Look, mom's making observations without you. Zoomed in to try to get a little better shot for you guys. Beautiful. You're making an observation too? As you can tell, we're really in a stage. We do a lot of it in homeschooling because I count this as part of our homeschooling. Out here in nature, learning things, making observations. Oh, look. Hydrology of the Florida Keys. There are no freshwater streams or rivers in the Florida Keys, leaving rainfall as the only source of fresh water. In the upper Keys, the porous Key Largo limestone allows the rain to drain away quickly, except where it may be trapped in occasional solution holes. Like the blue hole, that was a solution hole, I think, yeah? Uh, these holes provided water for early settlers, but the dredging of canals and the digging of borrow pits have now opened many of these to salt water intrusion. Okay. You see more plants? I would have kept reading, but Teddy's like, move it on. Yes, that is. That's like the same flower I was just looking at. That's kind of neat. Thank you for finding that. Well, this is a nice little walk again, isn't it? Ooh, this habitat is pine rocklands. Only found... Oh, this is cool, Teddy. Look, this habitat, honey. Pine rocklands only found in South Florida and the Caribbean. So you would not see this any, honey, anywhere north of the Keys or South Florida. What are pine rocklands? Although pine forests can be seen on sand ridges in many parts of Florida, the pine rocklands get their name from the cap rock substrate on which they grow. They are found on Big Pine Key and a few nearby keys where the combination of a reliable freshwater lens an oolite substrate and a history of fire combined to make them possible. That is so fascinating. Red-bellied woodpecker. Oh, do you need help? Hold on, folks. Had to get a rock out. Normally he straps his crocs when we walk like this. I just didn't think of it. Because he outgrew his hiking boots. So he's due for us to buy a pair as soon as we get to Texas of some good hiking sneakers slash boots ecosystems webs of life yeah and the sun is coming out a little bit so I don't think I'll be reading a lot right now what a super awesome trail with all this good interp yeah, I highly recommend this, folks. You could come down and do these two little short trails. Great way to get out, stretch your legs, add some education into your trip. This is talking about the three main types of palms growing along this trail. What did you find? Wow. The saw palmetto, the silver palm, and the thatch palm. Some more of this blossoming bush. What do you see? You found that. Contradiction in the keys. Nature, native versus exotic. Yeah, I deal with that a lot. Plants, animals, everything. Don't go off trail, sweetie. Try to stay on the trail, stay on the path. Remember, that's part of leave no trace ethics. Don't want to make social trails. This is so nice because this is such a different environment than where we live in Flamingo, isn't it, Teddy? I see this. This this is all over the place, isn't it? But this is such a different ecosystem than where we live in the Flamingo district of Everglades. 
This is talking about geology, how Florida used to look, what it looks like today. More flowers! Wow! You are a fancy flower finder. More limestone. Congratulations. Good job. More benches. Oh, we're gonna... When you see a bench, you just gotta try it out, huh? Take a rest. People and nature. Oh, wow. We're getting to the observation platform, Teddy. This is talking about development and the environment. And I would... Normally, if it was just he and I and we weren't doing a whole lot within the same day, I would slow down and read these a lot more deeply, but it's already going on three o'clock. Teddy, come back here. Look, there's one of those little uh, collection holes. And real muddy. I bet a gator likes that some good in the dry season, huh? But yeah, we've already done a lot if you haven't seen the other vlogs that go along with today. So we already have a few things more we want to do on the ride home. So kind of doing a speedier pace than what mom and Teddy normally do. Wow, what a nice observation deck, Teddy. Yeah. Okay, we can come back now. Yeah, now we'll have to turn back. But I was just taking a minute to get it in for everybody. If you've missed our other videos from today, we did go down to Key West. Teddy and Mark did uh, the fort down there, the t Fort Taylor, Fort Zachary Taylor. Looking around, see if I see anything. Plus we've stopped for snacks. There's other snacks we want. Plus we still have to do grocery shopping in Florida City before we go home, so. I am so blessed, so grateful Mark did turn around and decide to bring me up here. Such a sweetheart. <laughs> He's going, flowers, flowers, turn. Limestone, limestone. making me giggle so much it is so much fun to hike with him but yeah he he's making up a little game in his head about limestone limestone flower flower turn it's like a dance move what do you think of touching that what does that feel like kind of prickly huh that's a good observation this one's much longer teddy do you want to do it or no, probably not today, huh? But I would recommend it. I bet it's really, really good. It says it, enjoy a stroll on this two-third mile loop. Well, that's not very long, sweetie. Teddy's bailing on me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it because we're moving in less than three weeks and I don't know when I'll ever be able to do it again. So Mark said, go for it. Teddy's gonna listen to the game, baseball game and play video games with his dad. So, two-third mile loop, not bad at all. Beautiful sign. I'm not gonna film as in-depth because I'm sure it looks very similar to what Teddy and I just did. So we're gonna kinda, ooh, key deer, hold on. Going into the bushes back there. I'm not gonna disturb its peace. But this is the person that this trail is named after, a ranger, game management agent. But yeah, uh, Mark said on that Blue Hole Trail, like when we were hiking that, he saw like three of those key deer come like right through the parking lot, right by the car.
nice little sign telling you. So you've walked out from the boulevard where parking is and you're there. Now you're starting the loop. And again, there's beautiful interp along the trail, but for time considerations, I'm not gonna really focus heavily on them. Right now, it was nice to have hikes with Teddy, but sometimes it's nice for mom to get out for a solo walk too. Interp signs talking about songbirds and migration. This sign is talking about the key deer. They are the smallest subspecies of white-tailed deer. They go between 24 inches and 28 inches high at shoulder. Earliest mention is in 1575 memoirs of Fontanada, a shipwrecked Spaniard have a low reproductive rate compared to other North American white-tailed deer. Fascinating. So glad I got some good experiences up close with them. And my screen is starting to overheat on me and I also know I'm low on battery. So as much as I want to capture every ounce of this. I'm going to have to try to do a little better at conserving. Good reminder, you are still in snake territory even here on the Keys. This is good bottle snake territory. Always have eyes and ears paying attention. And if you hear that rattle, just stop and kind of back up. A little bit different habitat here, so I wanted to capture it. And there are, there's a lot of other nice interp signs I'm not really stopping for. I don't know if the sun's glaring too much to make it out, but something's been bedding down there. was a nice little place to stay cool a while ago. I am truly in my element. This is like, I mean, the whole day has been a blessing. We've had a blast today. Another, you know, we don't get many family days. Haven't had many family days these last 17 months or so that he's been at Flamingo. So, but then sometimes I don't get a lot of like solo time. I haven't had as much hiking time this winter as I wanted and oh, Sometimes to just get a little bit of this. This is just, I'm truly in my element. This is just perfect. Just had a helicopter go overhead. I just saw it. Butterfly a little while ago. Oh, water. A butterfly a little while ago that I've never seen ever in my life before. It had such a vibrant blue on it and some black. And of course, it didn't stay still long enough for me to get a picture to even remotely try to identify. But I do know it's certainly one I've never seen before. I was pausing here to not only see if that helicopter was going to keep going on for quietness, but also good spot to kind of look for a gator especially since we're towards the end of our dry season things are drying up a lot so gators are having to really work hard to find spots to be all wet 
I'm just kind of trying to pause, but I don't see anything really. So here on the Keys, you can find crocs as well as alligators. One of the easiest differences to tell is crocs want salt or brackish water, whereas alligators want fresh water. So that's, I mean, there's other differences too that make it easy to tell the difference between the two. And the only place you really find the American crocodile here in the U.S. is here in South Florida in Monroe County. Since I'm speaking of them, here's a little sign talking about like what they call their freshwater lens. I didn't really get to talk about that too good before when I was with Teddy. So that kind of is what makes these little like pond things, which is where these uh, American alligators would hang out here on the Keys to have their fresh water away from the salt water. Oh, nice picture of a young green heron. Adorable. I would like to see that marsh rabbit, but so far, no luck. Cool area here. And yeah, especially in a wetter season, be real easy to probably come across tracks. And this little crossing here, because it is wet there, just not very wet right now here, because we are so dry right now. phone is really heating up but just to uh, notate we're moving into kind of a different environment here a different ecosystem with the hardwood hammock been coming through much taller denser shadier oh wow and he cute key largo wood rat it's endangered it's found in crocodile lake national wildlife refuge in the upper keys. Wow. Blolly tree. I wonder if that's what we're seeing all the blossoms for is this blolly tree, if that's how you say it. And the white crowned pigeon you can find here in the Florida Keys. I don't think I've seen one, but wow. So cool. Just also, please guys, be kind. If you see areas off to the side and it does say closed, please be respectful of that. It's usually protecting something, habitat of some sort, or even a nesting, animals nesting currently. I love finding all these little holes. I want to stop and talk about this for a minute. It's really hard to read the sign, but I kind of know a little bit of background enough to try to explain it to you that mosquito ditch. So this was made in order to, to try to control the mosquito population. If you've ever watched me throughout any of our life in Everglades, but especially Flamingo, I talk a lot about mosquitoes. I mean, they are like nothing you've ever seen anywhere, especially north to us in the United States. There's, there's no way to explain it until you actually experience it yourself. So they would dig a ditch like this to try to kind of dry out some other areas just to kind of control the mosquito population a little bit. That's kind of my best attempt at interpreting that. Um, hopefully someday you could read the sign, but if not, look it up, Google it. You know, if there's ever something that I'm not saying right or you want more information on, please either ask. I can try to help you find out the resource or Google. Google is your friend. We've now completed the loop. I'll return to the parking lot. Close it out. I can see the parking lot now. So thank you for joining us for our time here in the Key Deer National Refuge. This was, has been on my bucket list since the very first time I ever learned about them during Mark's first season at Everglades back in the winter of 2020 to uh, 21. So super excited to be able to drive out here, hike three trails, and yeah, see some Key Deer up close and personal. This was a blessing. Peace and love, gang. Keep adventuring and hey, What's next? You never know where you're going to find us next. See you next adventure. The crew all still very happy listening to baseball and playing with electronics.
there's still someone who's a seat thief. Are you a seat thief? Huh?